What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, you see the signs, you see my avatar, you see the picture, you see that lovely face. So go visit me on all the sites and uh, check it out. Add me as your friends list, follow me on the Twitter, do the Instagram, do the YouTube, do them all. Today I'm going to talk about something in 4, 3, 2, 1, bang. I'm going to talk about the old, an old saying that, especially here in America, a lot of people believe to be true, that there's a statement that every Muslim is not a terrorist, but every terrorist is a Muslim. Now here in America, uh, you see people, in the, and it's kind of curious, because this is a country that was supposed to be built on religious freedom, and the practice religion, but it's not necessarily true in the eyes of reality, because this country is a Christian-based nation, whether you people like to admit this or not, America is a Christian-based nation founded on Christian principles. Now, that's not bad. The bad part is when it's the ignorance and the arrogance, and the, really it's the ignorance, I'm not going to say arrogance, because everybody should think that their religion is the one to follow but it's the, really the ignorance of people where they say well they, they label every Muslim as a terrorist and, they, and now they want to say how Islam isn't a religion of peace and they want to say what about all the beheadings what about the, the car bombings and this that and the fifth but the problem with that is Hitler wasn't a Muslim Hitler was one of the world's biggest terrorists Stalin wasn't a Muslim. And look what he did. Look what happened down in the South. Well, hell, look what happened in America. When they were lynching black folks. Or are they terrorists? Some of them are your relatives. Look at the Look at the, the Declaration for Independence and the way America was founded. Those today would be considered terrorists. Nelson Mandela would be considered a terrorist today. But who, what in fact makes someone a terrorist just because they're Muslim? I know plenty of Muslims that are not terrorists. They practice their religion, they love everybody, but yet when they come to America, and I try to explain this to a lot of my Muslim friends, this is how it is in America. There's, there's two things that you can learn when you get in America. and uh, Race and religion are the two biggest things that are holding back in America. Because number one, we never talk about race. And if we do, it's always some ignorant motherfucker that'll ruin the conversation. And number two, which religion. Religion is the most, especially on Sunday. Sunday is the most divided day in American history. Because everybody claims to be Christian, but they all practice in separate churches. There are, there's a few churches that are mixed, and I, I, you know, I give them credit for that. But mostly, Sundays are segregated. But the word extremist and fundamentalist have found a widespread association within the Muslim community. What does that mean in a word makes every Muslim a fundamentalist and an extremist? Now let me tell you something. What are priests, what are, what are the Catholic priests that have sex, and they still are doing it by the way. Don't, don't let that fact escape you. They have sex with little boys. Are they terrorists? Then again, they're not, you know, look, look what they look like. Hey, don't get mad at me, just get mad at the facts. You know, a fundamentalist is someone who sticks to their fundamentals. It could be like a mathematics. If say if I'm a math teacher, my fundamental I'm a fundamentalist because I stick to my mathematic principles. If it's a football player, you know he loves he's uh, he's fundamentalist about football. It's like similarity, like it's like for Islam for a Muslim. Now, if you're a good Muslim, you're supposed to stick to the fundamentals of Islam. If you're a good Christian, you're supposed to stick to the fundamentals of Christianity. If you're a fundamentalist, you're supposed to of, Ju of Judaism. You're supposed to be a good Jew and stick to those fundamentals. The media today, unfortunately, has projected a picture of the words in a very different light. It leads most people to believe that if a Muslim is fundamental, he's a bad person and terrible to the world. The killing of innocent people in, in in Islam has no place. You can't. You will not read this in the in in, in the Quran. And if you do, you're lying. 
you know, the teachings of the prophet, you know, peace, peace be on him. And the Holy Quran condemns revenge. Allah says that the Quran, it says in the Quran that Allah and those who are, who are, who are patient. Well, no, it says Allah is with those who are patient. I had to, I forgot that phrase for a minute. It's taught, and this, this is what it's taught. Now remember, it says Allah is with those who are patient. Now people are going to say, what about in the Middle East? Well, that's all the media is showing you. Like I said, we're not talking about these Catholic priests are still sleeping with little boys, raping women. We're not talking about the fundamentalists down in uh, Utah and Texas and along that area. They're marrying 10, 10, 10 girls under the age of 5. But yet at the same time, you get a few Muslims that go off to the left, they're extremists. Having said that, it hurts the position of the Muslims in countries like India because they have a lack of voice. Or if they're in Pakistan, well, they're a majority, but no, they. Or in China, they don't have a voice. Or even Russia. Like all the Chechens, you swear, that are Muslim, they're not terrorists. I mean, the world's a nice place to live in, but you should spawn on with your fundamentalists and your beliefs. If you're a Christian, you should be a fundamentalist, period. And a lot of you aren't. A lot of you are. are, are, are no, you guys aren't practicing Christians. You're Christians because that's what you're told to be, and that's what you want your out the outside world to think you are. Same with Muslims and Judaism and, and Jews. A lot of you will preach the gospel, but you don't practice the gospel. A lot of you will preach the Quran, we don't practice it. A lot of you will pre preach the Torah, we don't practice it. The fact remains is, I look at all religions as having, having elements of extremists to them. Now, if you want to call Muslims, make sure you're calling out all these other religions. It's because if you're not, it looks funny to me. Like me personally, I had no problem calling out extremists in Islam, extremists in Christianity, and extremists in Judaism. I had no problem doing that. Because, see, I keep it fair. I keep it where I'm calling everybody out. That way there's nobody saying, well, hey, you're favored. See, nobody can tell people or tell people about me that, hey, he's more favored of blacks. No, I'm not. I call black people out on stupid shit they do. Because I was taught you call everybody out on it. You be fair about it. You be fair and just and nobody can complain. But like, I don't even have friends that do this. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to to like make, make, make believe that I don't know this. But when you say Islamic extremists, you, you you paint the brush, and once you paint that brush, I can't respect a lot of things that people say, because there are extremists in every religion. It's just that there's no media coverage. You notice all of a sudden the Catholic the Catholic scandal in the Catholic diocese all of a sudden died down out of the media. Why is that? So we all got to look at this and say, hey, look, we understand that there's extremists in every religion. Not every religion is like this. So. When you, if you want to just, even, even your own Bible says, if you judge, judge righteously. And a lot of you guys aren't even judging righteously. So, on that note, I got my out of here. So, peace.